Hello and welcome to another ARK video. Today we're talking about the top 5 dinos every player needs when they're starting on a new playthrough or if they're brand new to the game. Each of these dinos are hand selected and in my opinion are the best 5 tames players should be getting when they're starting out. If you're new here, I'm Terrifier and I make videos about ARK. If you like me and you like ARK, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Alright, so the first dino I want to share with you today is the Lystrosaurus. The Lystrosaurus is a bit of a surprising dino to make it to the list since they don't really do much. People usually just slaughter these guys for levels without really knowing what they can do for you. Don't get me wrong, if you're going to slaughter something for early levels, Lystros and Dodos are the way to go, but getting a few Lystros right at the start of your playthrough is going to help you a lot. They don't gather berries or kill anything at an efficient rate, but what the Lystra specializes in is giving your tamed dinos an XP boost. They give a 1.35 times XP boost to all nearby tamed dinos, so these are really great little guys to have around with you while you're out doing the things you need to do. This is precisely why I mentioned the Lystro first, because all the other dinos in this list will benefit greatly from having a Lystro around. They're herbivores that you can tame passively, so it doesn't take much to get one. They prefer rare flowers, but if you're just starting out, you probably don't have any, so medjo berries will work just fine. Once they're tamed, all you have to do is pet them and the XP boost begins. It lasts for about 5 minutes, so once you get some more dinos with you, make sure you give them more attention than you gave to your ex, so they actually stick around and help you. <laughs> So for those of you that have been watching my videos, you know that I'm an advocate for trikes. Trikes are easily one of the best tames a new player can benefit from because of their ability to protect you from other dinos, and more importantly, their ability to gather berries. I put the trike as number 4 because the berries they gather for you will help you knock out the other dinos in this list, making it the perfect starter tame. Trikes are pretty easy to tame, all you need is a slingshot and some caution, and you can tame one pretty quickly. Since they're so slow, you can easily kite them or get them stuck between some trees, but if you find yourself dying when trying to tame it, I recommend building a trap to keep you out of reach of its attack. Remember that its head takes reduced damage, so you're going to want to be launching those stones into its body to knock it out as quickly as possible. Trikes are herbivores and will eat medjo berries during the taming process, making the necessary resources for taming minimal and easy to harvest. You can unlock their saddle at level 16 and it only takes fiber, hide, and wood to craft, so you'll be able to mount these guys in no time. While they can collect berries with their primary attack, they actually have a secondary attack that will stun other players and dinos, making the trike a fantastic way to keep you safe in the early game. This dino is your primary source of berries. Make sure you're using them to get as many narco berries as possible instead of using your hand so that when you unlock the bow and trank arrows, you can craft as many as possible to make the next dinos on this list infinitely easier to tame. Speaking of the next dinos on this list, coming in at number three, we have the raptor. A lot of beginner players see the raptor as a death sentence. If you see a raptor, usually it does spell a quick death for you unless you're prepared. Don't be afraid of these guys though, since raptors are honestly really simple creatures. They don't take many trank arrows to knock out, and they're easily trapped by bolas. By the time you have trank arrows, you'll definitely have bolas, and bolas are the fastest and easiest way to stop a raptor from decimating you. Raptors are hands down the fastest and most powerful starter dino, especially if you get a few of them together to form a pack. Once tamed, they'll be your primary form of defense and offense, and they'll be the best way to get meat and hide from wild dinos. The sooner you can get raptors, the sooner you'll be able to traverse the map with relative ease. Of course, they're not as powerful as other dinos like the Rex, Thylacolio, or Therizinosaurus, but they're more than powerful enough to get you on your feet. In order to tame them, you'll have to knock them out, and since they eat meat, you'll have to kill some Dodos or Dilophosaurus nearby to start the taming process. They don't take long at all to tame, and you won't need any extra narcotics to keep them asleep, making them one of the best offensive dinos any beginner can acquire. Make sure you're being careful and looking out for these guys though, because if you're not prepared, they're going to make your life hell and will more than likely end up killing you. I recommend getting at least three of them together to roam around with you, because one by itself can get shredded pretty quickly by more powerful dinos or players. Or. You could be a badass and walk around with 10 of these bad boys to strike fear into the hearts of your enemies. <laughs> Coming in at number 2, we have the Baryonyx. 
A lot of you might be thinking that this isn't a beginner tame, and while it has specific uses for mid and end game, it's a great beginner tame to start exploring the seas, oceans, and lakes on the Ark. The Baryonyx is a pescatarian, meaning it only eats fish and is as simple to tame as a raptor. The berry is a bit more powerful than the raptor though, so if this is something you're interested in keeping on land, then go for it. The main reason it's on this list though is because it's powerful both on land and in water. Its tail whip stuns ocean creatures as big as a Dunkleosteus and can help you get into those elusive underwater caves that hold artifacts and great loot drops. A big reason players don't explore underwater is because the creatures there are incredibly powerful and can completely annihilate you, which is why I'm recommending the Barry Arms. As long as you're quick to use the stun attack, you can deal with a majority of the underwater creatures you'll find in the Seas of Ark, and with their decent movement speed underwater, they're capable of outrunning a lot of things that you'll want to outrun. One of the great things about the Baryonyx is that it doesn't have an oxygen stat, meaning it can stay underwater forever and ever without having to worry about it drowning. Unfortunately, drowning is something you'll have to worry about, but putting one or two points into your oxygen stat will mitigate the risk greatly. The berry will make collecting oil, fish meat, and silica pearls much easier and should help you advance yourself quickly. The last dino I want to talk about today is the Pteranodon. If any of you have played Ark before, you know that the Pteranodon is typically the first flyer you'll get on your adventures, and for good reason. The Pteranodon is speedy and small, and can handle a decent amount of combat situations it's presented with. Of course, you're not going to want to use the Pteranodon to deal with an army of Rexes or large dinos, but these guys will essentially shrink the map. The ability to fly an Ark is key to accessing large amounts of critical resources strewn about the map, and the Pteranodon is the first dino you'll use to acquire said resources. Pteranodons are abundant on every map except Aberration and can be easily knocked out with a bola and a few Trank arrows. They're carnivores, so using prime meat is a really fast and easy way to get them tamed up quickly. You can unlock the saddle at level 38 and craft it with some chitin, fiber, and hide, making it a great early game flyer. By the time you've tamed the dinos in this list, you should have enough levels to get the Pteranodon saddle, and you'll be thankful that you did. The Pteranodon can pick up small creatures and players, and it also has a barrel roll attack that boosts speed during the attack animation, and does a decent amount of damage to other creatures and players. When I'm looking for Pteranodons at the start of my game, I typically try to tame at least two, especially if you're getting them with low levels. They don't have much stamina, health, or melee damage at low levels, making them easy to dispose of, but if you get one at a high level, they should be able to last you quite some time on the arc. The Pteranodon is even used in mid and late game to travel through the map quickly, especially if you don't have access to a griffin. The Pteranodon should be one of the best tames you can get as a beginner, and they'll bring lots of value to your playthrough. Have you seen my name? I'm a bit biased. Thank you so much for your time today. If you liked this content, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. I recommend the video on the left to watch next. We'll see you in the next video.